my name is Sergey. Welcome to the Photokite Lab. Our goal is simple, to make aerial filming easy and safe. You've probably seen many drone projects by now already. What's different this time? It's the tether. The tether changes everything. Unlike a conventional drone, there's no piloting, no smartphones, no joysticks, no GPS. This thing is just a no-frills aerial camera. The technology comes from one of the world's leading aerial robotics research groups here in Switzerland. We actually already used this technology to build our first product, the Photokite Pro, used in broadcast and journalism today. With that experience, we set out to build something a bit more compact and affordable, the Photokite Fee. Let me show you how it works. To launch the Photokite, point it where you want it to go, give it a twist, and it will fly there like a kite. It always produces tension on the tether. It uses this tension to figure out exactly where it is relative to you. If you want to control it in the air, use the electronic leash, hold down a button, and rotate your wrist. That will change where the photokite flies relative to you. It's always following you. It's always connected to you. So if I move, it will move with me. And this will keep working anywhere, in a cave, on a boat, and no matter if you're on a horse or on a bike. Photokite comes with a lot of different features, but an experience so reliable and comfortable that you can capture aerial footage in almost any place you want. To make it safe, we use soft, slow spinning propellers, packaged into the lightest flying GoPro platform that we know of. The batteries can be changed easily, and in fact the whole system can be charged easily via USB. And the best thing is, it folds into a tube the size of a thermos, making it a portable flying camera that you can take anywhere. We're nearly ready to put the Photokite fee into mass production, but we need to build critical mass in order to bring the cost of manufacturing down. With our experience, our team, and your financial support, we're super excited for the chance to bring this product to you. Please support us. Thank you so much. Imagine if you didn't have to get your phone out for every little thing. What if there was a simpler way to interact with your devices? Flick is a wireless button that connects to your iOS or Android device. So instead of going through your phone, you simply press the button. That's better. I use the Flick app to set it up, and then I can stick Flick wherever I want. I can even share this Flick with my roommate, so he can use it when I'm not around. Flick isn't just for your house. You can stick your flicks anywhere, like in your car or on your bike. Head straight. It's really cool. Your destination is on the left. And you can clip your flicks. It's great for any situation where you need a quick and discreet shortcut. Me, me. Me, 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 me. Like now. Me, uh, me. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I have to take this. But Flick can be so much more than just a shortcut to your phone. It can be integrated with lots of different services beyond your devices. Check this one out. Take me home, cabbie. When I get home, I want everything to just take care of itself. Shh! Movie starting. Another great feature of Flick is that it can be used as a safety device. With just a push of a button, you can send live updates of your location or even a distress signal to your family and friends. Cut! It's a wrap! 
All right, good job. Finally. Finally. Good job, man. Anyone Eight. wants pizza? Yeah. yeah. Nice. That hey, was a good hang on, guys. Let me quick, uh, grab a quick selfie first. Sure. Me and the flick team. Woohoo! All right, you guys ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Flick! <laughs> Hi. We're a Swedish team that has been working for almost two years to create Flick, and we're really excited to finally show it to you. We've gone through a hardware incubator in San Francisco, we traveled all across Europe and China to finalize the design and to find the right partners. We have developed the Flick app to be super simple to set up. Just open your app, press the button, and select the function that you need. We also have an easy software development kit that allows other apps to work with Flick. We already have some amazing apps that will work with Flick already from the start. And now we need your help to make this all happen. In order to bring Flick to the market and into your hands, we need to fund the tooling and certifications that are needed. In return for your contribution, we'll send you the very first flicks ever made. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. So let's take a look now at the features and controls of our Mint 3D Pen, starting off here with the nozzle. When this is in operating mode, the nozzle gets extremely hot. So over here we have our temperature controls, our information display screen, here we have our speed slider button. Over here we have our filament feed as well as withdraw button. And down here on the bottom is where we connect our power source and feed the filament. The Mint 3D Pen also has a safety feature where after two minutes of inactivity we'll go into standby mode and begin to cool down. Now we're ready to use our Mint 3D Pen. We're going to plug into a power source. You can use an outlet or a power pack, like I'm going to be using here. You'll notice the temperature display right here. In your box came ABS filament. You want to make sure that the temperature is set to 210 degrees. If you decide to purchase PLA filament, you want to make sure that that is set to 175 degrees. All right, now we're going to press the feed button to begin heating. It'll take about a minute to get up to temperature. Now that our pen is heated up, we wanna press the feed button here two times. I'll turn our pen on, grab our filament, load it down here. And we can use the speed control button, put it in its fastest setting by pushing it down. Okay, now we're ready to try a few basic techniques using the Mint 3D Pen. The first technique is drawing a 2D shape on a flat surface. Okay, now that we've mastered that technique, let's move on to the next one, layering. Okay, so the last technique we're going to do today is drawing in midair. It's very fun but may take a little bit of practice. We hope that this video has helped you to get started using your Mint 3D Pen. Now you're ready to take your art and design projects to greater heights.